Well, folks, I thought I'd put this video out just in case anybody hasn't noticed that our sun is waking up with a vengeance. A lot of big sunspots are coming back in. And uh, a lot of activity popping up after what was supposed to be the peak uh, was quieter than normal. So everything's been out of whack with the sun. And here lately, it is coming back with an increased a flurry of activity. Uh, a lot of uh, HF blackouts and flares and all that wonderful stuff. So don't forget about the sun. Just because 2012 didn't happen, the sun is still there and it could still throw a temper tantrum and send something our way at any time. So keep an eye out to the uh, Space Weather or Solar Ham websites. These are websites that just specifically watch the sun. Uh, you can go to the NOAA space weather thing and get email alerts uh, anytime big flares erupt. You know, just set it to the maximum. You know, anytime an X-class flare, it'll send you a text or an email saying, hey, big, big thing happened. Now, just because a big thing happens doesn't mean it's pointed towards Earth. But when it happens, you can look and see if it's in the plane uh, with Earth. I get concerned when there are huge sunspots that are in the same orbital plane as the Earth, you know, on the Sun when they're in our orbital plane. Those are the ones you really have to watch out for because that's where the really big flares come from. And uh, things are getting active right now. And usually in wintertime, HF clears up. But, I don't know, this has been unusual solar cycle. So, uh, like I say, get ready for solar Armageddon! Or, what was that? Uh, the uh, uh, History Channel, no, National Geographic just did a show called Lights Out. Yeah, that, that everybody's going to run around and chop each other's heads off. Get ready for, for solar zombies! <laughs> now, seriously, just just watch it. Keep an eye on it. Uh, if something does head our way, you may that way you may get at least 24 hour notice, uh, 24 to 48 hour notice before the thing hits. You can have all your sensitive electronics unplugged. Uh, you may want to unplug your car. You know, make sure all the batteries are taken out of it, uh, grounded out. Uh, just in case, nobody knows what a solar flare would do to automobiles and uh, unshielded computers. It's not exactly the same type of EMP as a terrorist nuke, but nevertheless, it would still cause our infrastructure to go down for many days. It would be enough to send chaos into uh, all the people that are not prepared, the people that have nothing put back in their pantries, uh, stuff like that. It could be, and this would be nationwide, it wouldn't be one localized city, so, you know, the government would be, people would be running around like chickens without their heads on because uh, all their technology would be shut down except for the, you know, highest level military stuff. Uh, which wouldn't really affect me too awful much, but, you know. Anyway, y'all just watch the sun and uh, see if anything goes on. Hopefully nothing will happen.